In this exercise, we're given a set of parametric equations, which represents a line in space. And we're also given a point Q, which is a random point in space. And we're being asked to find the shortest distance from the point Q to the line. Now, this isn't as straightforward as you might think, because I don't actually know the point on the line that's closest to Q. So it's not simply just like a distance formula type deal. There's some uh, quite a bit of algebra involved here. In the last video, we unpacked all the theory for how we're gonna do this. So in this video, I'm just gonna hop straight to the algebra. So this set of equations, which represents our line, you can use that to read off some information. Uh, for example, you can tell a point that's on the line. It's not probably the closest point to Q, but it's a point on the line, we'll call it a point P. And actually, let me go and jot that down because it's gonna be needed in just a minute. It's the X naught, Y naught, Z naught value. So it's the point one, seven, five. And then of course you have your point Q, which is the point four, four, one. And then you can use P and Q to create a vector from P to Q, which is gonna be needed in just a minute. Let's go ahead and find that value as well, that quantity, uh, that vector, excuse me. So we'll do terminal minus initial to create this vector here from terminal initial point to terminal point. So four minus one is three. <coughs> That'll be your ith component. Four minus seven will be negative three. That's your jth component. And one minus five is negative four. That's your kth component. Another thing you can read off from this set of equations is the direction vector for the line, the vector V. That's your a, b, c vector, two, negative, one, eight. And this vector v indicates what direction the line is gonna go. So two comma, negative one comma, eight. And then after some theory, and it took us a while to unpack all this, but it turns out if you have vector p, q, and you have vector v, if you have these two things here, then this formula right here that I'm circling right now that formula will give you the distance that you're looking for. This will give you the distance from the line to Q, the shortest distance possible. So really now we just have a, a bunch of algebra to, to do. So I'll tell you what, let me free up some space so that we can work. Um, here we've got PQ written again and vector V written again in our formula. So really it's, uh, from here on out, just a bun bunch of algebra to be honest with you. So let's take, first of all, PQ cross V. We'll take that cross product. We do that by using a three by three determinant. We'll have I, J, K on the top row. We'll have three, negative three, negative four on the second row, and two, negative one, eight on the third row. And I'm gonna run through some of this algebra kind of quickly just to speed things along a little bit. The ith component will be negative 24 minus four, so negative 28i. And then we'll have the jth component, which will be 24 plus eight, that'll be 32. But it'll actually be minus 32, because if you remember when you do cross products, you always change the sign of the jth component. And then the kth component will be negative three plus six, that'll be positive three K. All right, um, there's the cross product. And now what I need to do is take the magnitude of the cross product, which would be the big square root of negative 28 squared plus negative 32 squared plus three squared and then we're gonna take the magnitude of V, which will be the square root of two squared plus negative one squared, coming from here, and plus eight squared. Compute those two quantities and then divide them. And then this will give us our distance D. Okay, so I just paused the video so I could compute some of these quantities here. Um, the cross product turned out to be 42.63, the magnitude of the cross product that is. The magnitude of vector V turned out to be around 8.3, 
And so when you take the magnitude of the cross product divided by the magnitude of V, I got a distance of about 5.13, 5.13. Now, what does that distance represent? That distance is the, uh, the distance, the closest distance from the line to the point Q.